prepare to be transported to a world shrouded in darkness, where a sinister serpent threatens the very fabric of the cosmos. In this realm, two divine siblings, Apollo and Artemis, emerge as our saviors. We are Legends Untangled, your guide on this mythological journey. But before we dive into this epic battle between gods and feared creatures, we have to first introduce our two sibling gods. Our journey begins with Apollo, a radiant figure in the Greek pantheon. He is the god of light, music, and prophecy, and his domains extend far beyond the realms of mortals. Apollo is a deity who embodies the very essence of the sun itself, illuminating the world with his brilliance. As the son of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Leto, a mortal woman, Apollo's story is one of duality, straddling the boundary between the divine and the human. His duality is reflected in his multifaceted roles, making him one of the most intriguing figures in Greek mythology. Apollo's association with the sun is a testament to his radiant nature. In Greek art and literature, he is often depicted as a youthful, handsome figure, crowned with the rays of the sun. He personifies the life-giving and illuminating qualities of this celestial body. But Apollo is not just a deity of light, he is also the god of music and the arts. He is a master of the lyre, a stringed instrument he often played to bring harmony and joy to the hearts of both gods and mortals. The sounds of his music were said to be so enchanting that they could tame even the wildest of beasts. Another facet of Apollo's character is his role as a prophet. He was the guardian of the Oracle of Delphi, a sacred site where mortals sought divine guidance and prophecies. The Pythia, a priestess under Apollo's influence, delivered oracles in his name guiding kings and commoners alike in their quests for knowledge. Apollo's divine influence extended to the very sky itself. He was believed to ride his golden chariot across the heavens, steering the course of the sun and bringing daylight to the world. The sun's daily journey across the sky was a reflection of Apollo's own radiant passage. In the multifaceted character of Apollo, we find a deity who embodies the very essence of illumination, creativity, and the pursuit of knowledge. His story is a symphony of light and music, and it sets the stage for the intriguing tales of his twin sister Artemis, the goddess of the hunt and the moon, which we'll delve into next. As we turn our gaze to Apollo's twin sister, Artemis, we enter a world where the wilderness reigns and the moon casts its silvery glow. Artemis is the embodiment of the untamed, a fierce goddess of the hunt, the wilderness, and the moon. Artemis, born from the divine lineage of Zeus and Leto, emerged from her mother's womb ready for action. Her spirit, much like her twin brothers, is untamed and unyielding. She is often portrayed as a skilled huntress with a bow and arrow in hand, pursuing her quarry through the wilds. The moon, with its ethereal beauty and ever-changing phases, is under Artemis's divine jurisdiction. She is the goddess of the moon guiding its luminescent journey across the night sky. The moonlight is her faithful companion, revealing the hidden secrets of the wilderness. Artemis's companions in the hunt are her loyal hounds, and together, they chase down their prey with unwavering determination. She is the protector of wild animals and the guardian of the young, especially young girls. Artemis's bow, a symbol of her divine prowess, represents her uncompromising spirit. Her aim is true and she takes pride in her independence and self-sufficiency. This is a goddess who knows her own strength and refuses to be bound by convention. In the company of nymphs, Artemis finds kindred spirits. These companions share her love for the wilderness and purity, and they join her in the sacred groves and on hunting expeditions. Artemis fiercely guards the chastity of her nymphs, exacting swift vengeance on those who dare to violate their purity. Artemis's story is one of the wild, the night, and the pursuit of the untamed. Her commitment to the protection of the natural world and her vow of chastity define her character. Yet, as we will discover, her influence extends far beyond the realms of the wilderness and the moon, making her one of the most complex and revered figures in Greek mythology. One of the most significant chapters in the lives of Apollo and Artemis is the epic battle against the monstrous serpent known as Python. This thrilling episode not only demonstrates their valor, 
but also solidifies their roles as protectors and purifiers in the realm of Greek mythology. The Python, a malevolent serpent born of Gaia, represented chaos and disruption. It sought refuge in the sanctuary of Delphi, posing a grave threat to the sacred oracle of Delphi, under the protection of Apollo. Its menacing coils cast a shadow over the land, making it a symbol of discord and darkness. Learning of Python's intrusion into his domain, Apollo felt compelled to act. Armed with his radiant bow and guided by his divine purpose, he embarked on a mission to vanquish the serpent and restore the sanctity of Delphi. This quest highlighted Apollo's role as a purifier and protector of order. In this perilous undertaking, Apollo was not alone. His loyal twin sister, Artemis, stood by his side. Her presence in this venture emphasized the strength of their sibling bond and the value of collaboration. Together, they waged a formidable battle against the monstrous Python. In a fierce and arduous battle, Apollo and Artemis overcame Python's sinister coils. Apollo's arrows, guided by divine precision, struck true, and Python was defeated. The serpent's life force was extinguished, and its influence lifted from the Oracle of Delphi. This triumphant victory marked the restoration of order and the purification of a sacred sanctuary. The contest against the Python not only solidified Apollo's status as a god of light and order, but also emphasized the role of both siblings as protectors. Apollo's connection to the Oracle at Delphi was further cemented, and this sacred site became a revered center of prophecy, wisdom, and divine counsel in ancient Greece. The Python slaying is a powerful testament to the valor, collaboration, and divine purpose of Apollo and Artemis. It is a pivotal moment in their mythological narratives, reminding us of the eternal struggle between light and darkness and the triumph of order over chaos. Within the rich tapestry of Greek mythology, the story of Niobe's hubris serves as a cautionary tale that involves both Apollo and Artemis. This narrative reveals the consequences of pride and the unyielding nature of the twin deities when their mother, Leto, is disrespected. Niobe, a mortal queen, was renowned for her beauty, wealth, and numerous children. Her hubris and arrogance knew no bounds, and she boasted that her own motherhood exceeded that of Leto, the mother of Apollo and Artemis. Such a claim was a direct challenge to the divine status of the twin deities. Upon learning of Niobe's arrogance, Apollo and Artemis were moved to defend the honor of their mother, Leto. In a display of divine wrath, they descended upon the mortal realm to teach Niobe a lesson in humility and respect. Apollo, the god of the bow, and Artemis, the huntress, unleashed their wrath upon Niobe's children. In a harrowing display of their power, they loosed their arrows upon the unsuspecting mortal offspring. Niobe's once boastful heart was shattered as her children fell one by one, their lives extinguished by the relentless wrath of the divine twins. As her children lay lifeless around her, Niobe's hubris transformed into a profound sorrow. Her lament, filled with grief and remorse, echoed through the mountains. It was said that she wept ceaselessly, and her tears turned her into stone. This was a stark reminder of the consequences of pride and the unwavering nature of divine retribution. The story of Niobe's hubris serves as a poignant lesson in Greek mythology. It underscores the importance of humility, respect, and the enduring power of the twin deities. Apollo and Artemis, through their actions, established a profound connection to the honor and respect of their mother, Leto, and demonstrated the repercussions of challenging the divine order. The tale of Niobe's tragedy, brought about by her own hubris, illustrates the dual aspects of Apollo and Artemis as both protectors and enforcers of cosmic justice. It is a narrative that reverberates through the annals of Greek mythology, offering a timeless reminder of the consequences of arrogance and the enduring power of the divine. The Caledonian boar hunt stands as one of the most celebrated and epic events in Greek mythology, prominently featuring both Apollo and Artemis. This grand hunt underscores the twin deities' influence in the realm of adventure and courage. The tale begins in the city of Caledon, where King Oeneus, in a moment of forgetfulness, failed to include Artemis in his offerings. Enraged by this omission, the goddess sent a monstrous boar to ravage the land of Caledon, unleashing chaos and destruction. News of the deadly boar's rampage reached far and wide, drawing the attention of noble heroes and huntresses from across Greece. 
Among those who answered the call were heroes such as Meleager, Atalanta, and Castor, and Pollux. In this epic endeavor, Apollo and Artemis took on complementary roles. Artemis, as the goddess of the hunt, played a pivotal role in tracking and pursuing the beast. Her unmatched skills in archery and hunting made her a natural leader in this quest. Her involvement not only added a divine aspect to the hunt, but also symbolized her role as a protector of the wild and a bringer of order to the natural world. Apollo, while not directly participating in the hunt, provided guidance and support. He offered strategic advice to the hunters and helped ensure the success of their endeavor. His role as an oracle and advisor further exemplified his wisdom and influence in the mortal realm. The Caledonian boar hunt was a perilous and arduous endeavor. Heroes and huntresses engaged in fierce combat with the monstrous boar. Meleager, inspired by his love for Atalanta, played a crucial role in delivering the fatal blow to the beast. The Caledonian boar hunt serves as a tale of bravery, teamwork, and the need to honor the gods. It also highlights the divine assistance provided by Apollo and Artemis, showcasing their roles as protectors and guides in the realm of mortal exploits. This epic hunt is not merely a story of physical prowess, but also an illustration of the complex interplay between the mortal and divine worlds. The twin deities, with their distinct roles and influences, enrich the narrative, and their presence in this grand adventure is a testament to their enduring legacy in the world of Greek mythology. And that, dear viewers, brings us to the end of our fascinating journey through the myths and legends of Apollo and Artemis. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Greek mythology, where gods and goddesses shape the narratives of humanity. If you found this video as intriguing as we have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our mythological explorations and more captivating content. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What other mythological tales would you like us to unravel in the future? Thank you for being a part of our mythological adventure today. Until next time, keep exploring the realms of knowledge, imagination, and storytelling.